Hello guys, this is Nilesh Kamre and in this video, we are going to see how to troubleshoot issue related to application was unable to start correctly and the error code is 0xc00007b. We are going to see four different methods and you can follow all the troubleshooting steps. There could be possibility your issue would be resolved by any one of the method. So let's go ahead and start the troubleshooting. On this channel, you would get stuffs related to Windows 10, Active Directory, Group Policy, Windows Server Operating System, troubleshooting steps and technology related reviews and its updates. So please hit the subscribe and press the bell icon to enable notifications for future videos. Method number one is reboot the computer. Windows issues most probably solves rebooting computer and you should first try this option if your issue does not resolve then you have to follow another method. Method number two is run the program with administrator rights. This error could be on your game or any of the application. You have to run this application with administrator rights. So right click on the application. Suppose on this application you are getting this error then right click on the application and click on run as administrator. It will ask you for the permissions if you are login with non-admin user account then it would ask you for username and password you have to enter the username and password and then you would be able to open the application with administrator rights now my account is login with administrator rights so i have opened this application google chrome application with administrator rights once you do this please check if the issue is resolved or not if this issue is not resolved then you have to follow other method the method number three is right click on the application then go to properties then go to compatibility and click on this run this program as an administrator click on apply and click on ok so whenever you are going to open this application it would open with administrator rights but if you are not logging with administrator account you have to enter the password of the administrator account fourth and last method is to delete one of the dll file that is xinput1 underscore three you just search in the search box you would find the location of this file open file location click on open file location and then it would take you to system 32 path you have to just delete this click on continue and also you have to delete this dll from another folder that is sys w o w 64 search the file from the search box select it and then delete it now both the files are deleted we have to install DirectX we have to download DirectX from Microsoft website and to download DirectX you have to just type DirectX web installer windows 10 then hit enter and open this link which is from Microsoft don't download it from any other link like this one don't download from these kind of links download directx from only microsoft links just click on the download button it would download the web installer of the directx and you would see download is started now it has been completed i just i will just click on this and it would open the setup and it would start the installation process click on accept the agreement click on next I don't want to install the Bing bar. Click on next. This download will take around five to 10 minutes depending upon your internet connection and speed. So I will just wait for this. This is simple and easy process like next, next, next and finish. Once this process is completed, we have to check if the issue is resolved or not. Most probably this issue would resolve by following this particular step. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this video helps you to resolve the issue thanks and bye bye and if you like the video please hit the like button please hit the subscribe and press the bell icon to enable notifications for future videos